Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Sharif Daramola is my name, and I welcome you to another promising session where we shall be taking a technical dissection of the GBP USD chart. So, in this video, we shall be looking at how we want to be taking advantage of any potential trading opportunity. As we have seen here, how price action has been caught within um, this whole um, flat channel in the last um, three to four weeks now. But before we go into the details of what to look out for um, during the new week, I would like us to run through the key moments that we had during the la during the course of last week trading session, as this will give us a background knowledge of where we are coming from and then from this point we project what to look out for in the new week so talking about last week's trading session um, we started the week on the strong bearish note this was my first commentary uh, where we anticipate we saw this um, consolidation phase between the 1.2420 level and the 1.23840 area and in fact this whole price action was around that key level that we identified at the 1.2400 level which happened to be um, a structure we said we are going to be using to guide our trading activity last week and in fact buying price trading above that structure would actually welcome buying opportunity and if price action breaks down that structure with selling pressure on our lower time frame we shall be looking out for selling opportunity so with this all setup figured out at the beginning of the week we had our first position triggered uh, when we begin to see continued selling pressure both below the trend line and that key level we identified at the 1.2400 level so we had a moment of adding more position to our existing trade as price action run through breaking down that support line at the 1.23840 level but th this didn't last long as we saw how price action transitioned into um, buying pressure resuming price climbing back above that key level and it was at this point i decided that we are going to be buying at the breakout of the 1.24 two zero zero level and this was duly um detailed during our morning live session that tuesday morning and then at this point we had our buy position triggered we run the move all the way to the upside and then we identified this um potential sell window which was as a result of um, taking into consideration the impulsive move that bearish impulse leg that brought us to that 1.2350 area so when we ran our fibonacci retracement tool this happened during our morning live session on tuesday uh, we aimed at an area between the 50 and the 78.6 percent which actually dovetailed to this uh, potential sell window that we had here so what we decided was that we are going to be looking out for selling pressure reversal patterns around that area to suggest um, the resumption of selling pressure with the hopes that price action will continue in the direction of the prior leading price action which in this case scenario has been bearish now we saw the situation here despite our bullish our buy position didn't last long price action was taken out with some small profit or at a worst case scenario of break even then we also had some other buy position happened um, on that same day as well. I think this was on Wednesday and we begin to see some selling pressure resume around that sell window we had. But we didn't um, come to selling. The key moment for selling opportunity didn't come until I think, okay, can see here what has happened here. We continue to see selling pressure where price action found it difficult to break above the 1.2 for 700 level and as you can see we saw the sell pressure continue price action broke down the trend line that at this point we decided to sell below the 1.2420 level and as you can see we had our sell position triggered and it was on this note we closed last week's trading session 
on a bearish note if you like to see how we got to this point well i will be dropping the link to this commentary in the comment section of this current video and if you are watching this from my youtube channel you will be seeing it at the top right hand side of your screen now let's go back into the live into the live chat where we want to see uh, what has really been happening in this market and for the sake of this video i will be um, zooming right into the current structure which is um, uh, price actions activity between the month of december and this present moment and as you can see on your screen right now you would have observed that price action appeared to have been caught within a flat channel so we have the resistant line of the flat channel here at the 1.24500 level where at every point in time we have been seeing um, sellers negate all attempt by the buyers to break out of that level then we also have the support line of that channel sitting at the 1.1800 level which has been very consistent since the month of november giving us a flat channel so this whole scenario we have here is more of a sign that um, uh, there is an indecision in this market which has lasted about um, five six months thereabout where price action had continued to range within that 1.24550 level and the 1.1800 area however the, our center of focus for this week will not be any other place than this area here had the resistant line of that flat channel we identified earlier where we have seen that in the last two three weeks now price action had remained um within that structure here by giving us a beautiful flat channel to work with high head of the new week and this old structure we have here is looking more like a um, trend continuation pattern if we consider the impulsive move that got us to this point so the impulsive move that started here and since price tested the 1.25500 level we have been seeing this whole choppy situation continue lasting for about three weeks now with this whole situation here there are two ways we can actually trade this one is the sense that this whole structure here could turn out to be a trend continuation pattern where a breakout of the 1.2550 level will be a good opportunity to buy the JVP USD for this week and the other scenario that we could have here is that this whole structure could turn out to be a reversal pattern where the breakdown of the 1.2370 level will be an opportunity to join um, a move to the downside which could likely be a retracement of that impulse leg now with this being said here you will agree with me that we have a simple setup but a critical point in the market where anything could actually happen and in order to make things a little bit easy for us to be able to position ourselves high ahead of the new week have been able to identify a simple setup on a much more lower time frame but before we go into the lower time frame here i would like us to keep tabs with the economic calendar as we want to have a look into what majority in this market is expecting for this week and we are going to be focusing on high impact events that will be affecting both the pound sterling and the US dollar. And from the economic calendar here, what we have here is um, the first high impact event is coming in on Wednesday, April 26. And that is the from the US docket and we have the durable good order, which is the measure which measures the cost of orders received by the manufacturers for durable goods which means goods plan to last for three years or more such as motor vehicles and appliances and the previous data came in at minus one percent and we have a consensus projection of 0 0.8 which is a little bit more positive on the positive side so we are going to be looking forward to what the actual data will be on that day that same day also we have the non-defense capital good order which measures the cost of orders received by manufacturers for capital goods and when we say capital goods we mean 
um, direct book goods used in the production of goods or services plan to last for three years or more, excluding defense and aircraft sector. A high reading is always a sign of a bullish um, tone for the dollar, while a low reading is always a sign of a bearish tone. And from the data we have here, the previous data came in at minus 0.1%. And with a consensus projection of 0.2, another positivity in the hair there um, for um, the from the US dollar. So let's see what is going to be happening there. Then on Thursday, April 27th, we have the gross domestic product, another very high impact event, as this is um, always released by the US Bureau of Economic Analysis, and it shows the monetary value of all the goods services and structures produced within the u.s economy so this is one other high impact event that everyone will be looking forward to here we have a previous data of 2.6 percent and we have an um, a projection consensus projection of two percent too as well so aside this we do not have any other macroeconomic event to look out for for this week and obviously, since these are very, very high impact event, majority in the market will be looking forward to this event. And we shall definitely be seeing um, the anticipation of this event reflect on the chart as price action. So with the information we have gathered here on the from the economic calendar, let's scale right down into the four hours time frame. And let's look at what I was able to come up with on the four hours time frame so now we are right on the four hours time frame which will be giving us a clue into what to expect in the coming week first of all i want to acknowledge the fact that price action has been bullish since the beginning of the month of march and as you can see here we have a trend line after connecting the series of higher lows here to further emphasize the strength of the buyers in this market However, since things have got a little bit interesting since the beginning of this month, so let's zoom in and let's see what has been happening here since the beginning of this month. So it is quite a simple setup we have here as price action has been trapped between the 1.2540 level and the 1.23600 area, which is a sign that majority are yet indecisive on where price action could be going. However, if we look at the structure closely and considering the fact that price action has been bullish um, since the beginning of this month, um, the appearance of buy pressure just along the trend line here at the 1.23600 level is a clue that um, buyers are trying to gradually gain some momentum here. As you can see, that sellers have found it very difficult to break down the structure and throughout the course of last week trading session we saw how the 1.23600 level had continued to hold bullish momentum so we have a beautiful demand zone situated here and this is characterized by um, a lot of buying pressure around that area where sellers have found it very difficult to break down the structure and for the fact that price action is currently trading along the trend line I'm of the opinion that price action could continue to the upside. And in that regard, I have a key level here, had a 1.24500 level, which has been a major determinant of price action during the course of last week, which we shall be using this week to guide our trading activity. Now, what do we want to be doing on this chart with this key level? What do we want to see to make us feel comfortable buying the JPP USD at this point. So the first scenario I want to see here is for price action to break out of that 1.2450 level and then I continue to see buy pressure just above that structure as price action will definitely be remaining above that bullish trend line. Then I will be looking out for buying opportunity where if for the breakout of the 1.25400 level will definitely be a beautiful signal that uh, we are definitely going bullish as price action would have taken out all the sell position at this point in the market. So this is what I will be looking out for to buy the GPP USD for this week. 
And you all know what we do here. In as much as we are looking out for buying opportunity, we also want to take into consideration the potentials of the sellers too as well. The market is a very, very fluid environment and for us to make money off the chart, we need to be as flexible as possible so that we can catch any potential opportunity. So in this kind of situation we have here where we are looking out for buying opportunity, what happens if the opposite comes in? What do we want to see from this chart that will suggest and give us that confidence to be part of a bearish move to the downside? So personally, for me to sell the GBP USD going into the new week from this current structure, I would rather see price action take out all the buy positions here at the 1.23600 level, a very strong demand zone, during the cost of last week's trading session to give me a clue that sellers are gradually gaining some momentum. And a retest of structure selling pressure below this area will definitely be that opportunity we are looking forward to to add more position to our existing trade. So these are my views here on the JPUSD going into the new week and be rest assured that I will be with you um, right in the comment section as we get prepared for the new week after monitoring our participants in this market will be reacting to this current structure during the early hours of the new week. I do hope this video has been of immense help in making your personal decision on the GPUSD this week. And if it did, kindly support this project by clicking the like button. You might also want to follow me on my TradingView platform at DarkSherry. It's right here at the top right hand side of your screen so that you can be part of my daily commentaries I normally share in the comment section of all of my videos. Thank you for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you right in the comment section on Monday as we get prepared for the new week. Do have a wonderful evening everyone. Bye bye.